Okay, you guys, today is a day of news. Um, massive deliverance happened today. And here's the good thing. Um, I'm feeling the power of the Holy Spirit increasing me exponentially that I literally threw up another five more times and with my own hand putting it on where the diaphragm is and just saying fire the Holy Spirit fire the Holy Spirit I was making these demons come out and I started you could see my hair is all sweaty I went through a massive sweat I literally was feeling the fire of the Holy Spirit this really was the first time this ever happened so it was kind of like fun for me to actually do this and as these um, demons were coming out they were trying to stop my throat so I couldn't speak anymore because I was saying out out and they were trying to stop my throat so I couldn't speak anymore and I would I did the fire of the Holy Spirit again my throat opened wide up and BAM threw up again it was pretty awesome for me to see this so I will um, I will still continue more uh, this this main one is still here it's hurting me really bad though which is a very good sign so uh, it's getting ready I'm psyched there is a video that I came across tonight which could only explain by the Holy Spirit because this video supports everything that I have ever said out here and I was just in shock as I was watching this it is by Prophet Lovi and he's talking about witchcraft and how to identify witches and you're going to be shocked at what he says in fact, all of the, it's what I was saying. In fact, all of these people that were calling me a witch, they are the ones displaying witchcraft signs. They are the ones. And um, there's something that all of these demon slayers have missed that I hit on. I didn't, I didn't say it in terms of witchcraft, though, but Prophet Lovi did. And I'm getting ready to explain this to you. And I will also make sure that I put his video in the description. He um, he read um, Bible verses, the the usual one, the Leviticus, um, Leviticus twenty six. If a person turns to mediums and necromancers, whoring after them, I will set my face against that person and will cut him off from among his people. Here is the big one. This is the big one where he where he supported everything I was saying that everybody missed, including me. It's Galatians 5, 19 to 21. Now, the works of the flesh are evident. Sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissension, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies, and things like these. I warn you, as I warned you before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. What I was out here saying was, this is what all these people were doing. How, how, however, could they stand on the stage of a church and call me a witch? What was spiritual about any of this? Which was what was throwing me for a loop. And um, here's the distinction what Prophet Lovi made. Now, I have been saying this whole time that due to original sin, um, we were all born into Satan's kingdom. And everything we have ever learned has been a concept that was taught to us by our family members, our society, um, and all of these people were in the sleep, so they were just 
from generation to generation they were passing down Satan's lie and it was our job to wake up out of this sleep the other thing that I said was that this entire country this entire planet was founded on witchcraft who were the first people here well it was the American Indians they were steep in witchcraft what Prophet Lovi said was, there are three types of witchcraft. There is the, the witchcraft that, um, like a, a, a mystic or a, a medium would use, where there is a divination spirit that they use to help them tell, tell the future. Um, there's a sorcerer. But where this one would uh, would uh, would use spells and would use incantations, which the the uh, they got really good in their craft, and the, the spirit would actually like take them over. And he said those two are are bad, but they're they're no match for uh, Jesus or the Holy Spirit. The third one is the worst is the most dangerous this is the third one this is the one that supports everything that I said it's the one you you will find in Galatians so the, the first thing and I and I made this statement that the biggest thing that I see that the Lord hates is sexual immorality sexual immorality so it says now the works of the flesh are evident sexual immorality impurity sensuality idolatry here we go sorcery we're talking about the works of the flesh and it says sorcery what exactly is sorcery of the flesh and that is everything that comes after it so which is enmity strife jealousy fits of anger rivalries dissensions divisions envy drunkenness orgies and things like these so what I had described as what had been learned in families um, due to the sleep the Bible is saying is sorcery of the flesh witchcraft of the flesh the fits of anger the uh, the enmity the the standing on a stage calling another person a witch from a church stage still blows my mind these are all evidences of witchcraft witchcraft of the flesh and what prophet Lo prophet lovi said was the first witch in history was actually cain and witchcraft was actually started in the church it was started while he and his brother were giving an offering to god so that was their church and they were worshiping god and giving an offering um Cain's jealousy that his offering wasn't accepted by God but his brother's was and yet God God openly said to Cain if you do it the right way I would be happy to accept your offering so um, rebellion is also witchcraft you see and it makes perfect sense because what the demon slayers were saying is that all of these things are spirits of spirits of it's actually witchcraft of the flesh and the church is full of it the church is full of witchcraft so I have been saying out here that Satan is all up in this church and that is exactly the truth that is exactly the truth it brings it home a, a, a lot more clearly that to think it is some random Jezebel or Leviathan spirit. No, it is actually witchcraft. It is the um, the causing of, of uh, competition between 
pastors. I made that statement out here the other day that there should be no competition between anybody out here. If you genuinely know who you are in Christ, there should be no competition between anybody out here. This, in fact, is witchcraft of the flesh. And it is all up in the church. So, it, it, it just, it just it, it, I'm speechless, I'm speechless. These people that were out here calling me a witch, they are betraying or portraying all the signs of witchcraft of the flesh themselves. Every last person who's attacked me out here. And, um, this he said is the most dangerous and I could see why because, because of the sleep, people don't know what they're doing is witchcraft. The same way that I have been telling people out here that Christians believe they're saved, but they're going on living their sinful lives. They're still in fornication they're still in, out in the bars drinking and drugging and, and doing things that, that go against what, what God's word says. The fact that people are out here fighting with me, that nothing needs to be done. Once Jesus saves you by grace, there's nothing that you need to do. And I have been out here bringing the point home, trying to drive the point home. No, we have a lot of work to do. And we also should all be doing introspection to, to see and ask the Holy Spirit to show us what we have to transcend and let go of to get rid of the personhood. These have been my words. He said the same exact things. We all need to take stock of ourselves. These things, the witchcraft of the flesh, cannot be gotten rid of by prayer. The only way that these things can be gotten rid of is by introspection, by asking the Holy Spirit to show us what needs to be changed. And it's what I have been calling ego. You see, we've, we're just using different words, but we have both said the same exact thing. His definition of it, though, I believe more people out here would resonate with it and would understand it. And I hope that you will listen to his video and take stock in it because even for myself when I listen to him I'm saying I've gotten rid of I saw what he was saying how the witchcraft of the flesh that people don't even know that it is witchcraft and I could see very clearly in my own self the rage that I used to have and the way I, I dissociated from my emotions because I was afraid of the rage and the way the way all of the abuse was in my life, this is all darkness. It's all darkness. But for myself, this is what happened to me during the dark night of the soul, which is what I healed was all that trauma, which was all that the trauma, the the, the portals, the doors open to let these demons in. And of course, this is why these demons did come in, was because it was a lifetime, it was a lifetime of a wide open door here for these demons through all of this trauma, not to mention the sins that I committed on my own and this rage that I had. So much is here. This is why I'm still delivering demons out of here. The thing that he stuck out to me for myself that that the light bulb just went on for me is that we ask God for uh, prayers and why aren't the prayers answered like why isn't this demon out of here because I know God could just rip this thing out of here and um, here's here's was my answer he said in here we, we want to ask God to answer our prayers but we're still practicing witchcraft. God despises witchcraft. He's not going to answer our prayers. 
when we're still practicing witchcraft. So, so what I said was exactly right. There are still things that I had to learn, which is why this thing was still here. Here's the thing. What is the witchcraft that, that still uh, plagues me at times? Is this anger. Is this anger when these goons get me really angry. And um, this is why the other day I said, I'm not going to allow them to get me angry any longer. Because the only thing that I noticed was that when I got angry, this thing got stronger. So I didn't, I didn't fully get it that it was a connection to the demonic realm. I just, I saw it as this, this thing was feeding off of the negative energy. But uh, there again, it is the demonic realm. Um, anger is what is listed in the Bible as the witchcraft of the flesh. Anything negative, which is this whole entire soul aspect of us, this whole entire soul aspect of us, this personhood aspect of us, this ego aspect of us is witchcraft of the flesh. And this is what every single one of us has to transcend. And if you can understand it better with these words, then God bless you. I hope the light bulb just went on for you. I hope the light bulb just went on for you. I'm seeing it from the spirit realm and I can only describe it as the way I have learned it from Nisargadatta. But here is Prophet Lovi describing it from the terms of witchcraft and um, it made perfect sense. So he said there are three types of witchcraft. There's the type that use divination. Um, mediums and psychics uh tarot readers those things there's the second type that that's sorcery that uses uh spells and uh, i saw in uh there's a uh, an article for, from got questions that talks about pharmakia these are the normal things that i've been hearing these demon slayers talk about but they did not nobody got the the witchcraft of the flesh that was so, when I heard this, it just, it just put the light bulb on for me that, for, that I could see it in my own behavior. This anger was what stood out for me, the anger. And the only thing that, that, that I said was, I've got to stop. I've got to stop, stop letting, because th there's a, quite a few times that these goons would upset me and I would start yelling and screaming and cursing at them. Through, through the camera and my cell phone and uh, then erase, just erase the video and then go try to calm myself down. This is all witchcraft and they are using witchcraft to try to manipulate me into these negative behaviors to feed this thing to make it stronger. This is what is happening. So under no circumstances should I ever allow anyone to get me angry again. And this is what all of these uh, these negative behaviors are, which are all of the personhood, which I was trying to explain to everybody. It's the whole soul aspect of us, which is where these demons attack. This is the way I have been describing it out here to you guys. The whole soul aspect, which is where these demons attack. That, And, and we're taught all of the concepts by our family of origin, our church, our religion, our society, then we go to school, we meet friends, we're all doing these same behaviors. This country was founded on witchcraft by the Native Americans. We're all trying to break free of witchcraft. The problem is, as I said, the Christians are looking at the mystics and the occult saying, those people, and you're not looking in your own backyard. And this is where the problem is. And Prophet Lovi just nailed it. He just nailed it. So, although I have said the same thing, I have used different words. The words he used made it very, very clear. And I hope you guys are able to see it as clearly as I was. I'm going to put it in the description. I'm also going to put the article from Got Questions on Witchcraft and the uh the bible verses from open bible 
in the description and I hope this helps you guys to understand what I've been trying to explain to you and why even though we are saved by grace Jesus commanded us to not be of the world because it is when we're of the world we are in witchcraft of the flesh and it, it just doesn't get any more clear than this we are in witchcraft of the flesh and this is why we are all told to not be of the world because Satan is the God of the world it all makes perfect sense to me now and I hope it makes perfect sense to you guys too have a blessed night